It's Tuesday morning. Ah, just putting my shoes on. Let's go do 18 miles. I'm a little nervous. Oh, there's my toast. There's my toast. I'm about to go head out on this 18 mile run. Still nervous, but um, it'll be good. I did a shakeout run yesterday and I rested on Sunday. I ate a lot of fuel, so I'm as ready as I can be, I think. But we'll see how it goes. I am a little nervous. Um, I'm packing a lot of electrolytes today, obviously. And then I brought a variety of goos. I have this uh, tropical isotonic Cisco. Um, I have a rock tang goo, which I've never had a rock tang one before, so we'll see how that goes. And then a raspberry lemonade. Might only do two, might do three, probably need to do three, but we'll just see how the day goes. I'm breaking this in six mile chunks. So we'll just see if I can break it down in six miles at a time. I know I can do six miles. So I'm just like that. But I'm gonna get out on this run. All right, we're like two and a half miles in. Um, and the weather's still pretty good. So that's looking up today. Five miles in, having my first goo of the day. One of my favorite flavors. Still in the warm up portion of this run. And uh, a lot of dogs in this area. We're over six miles in, which means we're a third of the way done. And the second third is the hilly portions and the trails. So I'm kind of stuck this hard easy. So we're over nine miles in. So we're over halfway there. And I'm on the trails. Got about two more miles worth of trail. And then I'll be on the road for the rest of the day. Alright, I'm over 10 miles in. So I'm on second trail. Having the cis tropical, haven't tried this flavor before. Oh, it's not too bad. I kind of like that one. Um, it's a little bit more flavorful than some of the other flavors. Twelve miles in, so two thirds of the way there. On the last third, gonna be all roads and sidewalks. Just gonna take it a mile at a time. On mile fifteen, we're gonna have my last few of the day. I think I only have about half of this. That's the rocking one I'm trying for the first time. So we'll see if this caffeine and extra electrolytes give me a little kick. Those are a little thicker than the usual views. All right, um, I'm on mile 16, and I'm feeling the bad side stitch for a half mile. I just had to stop back there for two minutes to get under control because it just was not letting up. Side stitches have to be one of the most debilitating things you can experience on a run. And I'm trying to grind through it, but then I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna stop for a few minutes to get some control. And I did. And I'm feeling better, so I'll be able to get through this one okay, but those freaking suck. All right, I just pulled in from um, getting back from my 18 miler. And we got it done, but not in the way I wanted to. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. But mile 13, 14, my legs were feeling pretty tired from all the trail running in the hills. And so I was kind of like, oh, I want to like boost of energy. So um, I took my third gel. Um, and gel consumption was going great up until this third gel. My first and second gels were gels I've had before. Um, I had the strawberry, or the, sorry, the raspberry lemonade. And then I had the tropical cis and I really liked this flavor. But this rock tangu, I hadn't had it before. And I was like, ooh, like it's got all these amino acids and it's got all the electrolytes and caffeine in this, like this will be perfect. And I thought I'll just take like a sip of it, I'll just take like a quarter of it and it'll give me that boost I need to get up to race speed. So I did this and no joke, like three quarters of the mile later, I got that pain right on my right side of my rib. And I knew as soon as that pain arrived, I knew what was coming for me. And it was a full blown stitch um, that I essentially ended up dealing with for the last two and a half miles, um, which was right when I wanted to start speeding up and get going. So um, what ended up, what was supposed to be like the fastest part of the run or the part I was hoping to really train hard for today ended up being the slowest part. I think mile uh, 16 was a 12 minute mile. And it's cause I legitimately had to stop twice and just like allow the pain to pass because I couldn't bear running on it. Moral of the story is the Rock Tang Goo is a no for me. I know some people really like these, but you can definitely taste the caffeine. It's got that super gooey aftertaste. Um, it does not, did not settle well. And then obviously it didn't go well with me after the fact. Also lesson learned, I got to do some research on how to avoid those side stitches on marathon day because that can seriously make or break your race. And it just absolutely killed my momentum, like killed it. And I ended up running that last portion pretty slow, but nonetheless, that's 18 miles. I'm, I'm hoping that 20 miler, I can figure it out. Um, I need to pick good nutrition and the right electrolytes so I don't experience what I did today because I need to go get out one more good long run where I don't have a crisis like this. So I'm going to go shower. I got to be ready for work, but um, I will catch you guys later this week and we'll keep going. <laughs>